Hello everyone, in this video I will do a comparison between the new Absolute Allegoria Santa Royale, which looks like this. In the last video I hadn't realized that I could have just shown you the bottle here, for Rosa Mira as well. And my, you know, original Santa Royale, which is a bottle from 2018, so not so long ago. I don't remember when this was launched, let me check briefly. Santa Royale, the, the original Santa Royale, because this one tells me it was launched in 2024. Uh, Fragrantica is very funny that way. Let me briefly, I, I'm guessing 2014, but I don't know. Because they have different pages now for the old Santa Royale and for the new Santa Royale. It was launched in 2014, I was right. I'm not going to talk about the transformation of the, um, uh, the collection Les Absolus d'Orient into Absolus Allegoria. This is something I talked about in my previous video about Rose Amira, but I let's just smell the new one and see if anything's changed. Because I'm wearing Santa Royale pretty regularly, and if needed, we'll bring we'll bring it on a blotter to see if anything's changed. Now, some people, because this was a requested video, some people asked me if I've smelled the new Santa Royale, because it's different. And I said, oh my God, let's, let's check that out. I have a sample. I haven't smelled it before. What is this? It is different, but in a good way. They've, they added oud to this. It's a different scent. It's, I, I love it though. Wait. Oh my goodness, it's a different scent. They, they reworked it. So let's, uh, what I mean by this is I might have to get this one. They added a very prominent, very uh, sharp oud note uh, at the beginning of the fragrance, which very much reminds me of the older formulations of M set. It is beautiful. You know that, you know that dentist kind of note an M set has? Uh, does anybody else know about that dentist note am I, or am I am I the only one it's nice it's apart from that it's that same-ish rose combination what I won't be able to tell you is well you know what about the sandalwood because I think what makes Santa Royale special is that oh my god my bottle is I think it's half half full right <laughs> uh and they don't make this anymore oh god panic it was the sandalwood right and the dry down that uh, it was very it was a very interesting sandalwood that i compared it a lot to santal majuscule from um, serge luton which is this creamy patchouli cacao very soft very woody very oof. Soft, comfortable, I think is the word for that sandalwood. And this sandalwood came out in the dry down of Santa Royale. If it's here, I, I can't detect it right now. What I smell now is something more musky, sharp, and more akin to Musque Noble. As soon as I, th I think, as soon as they discontinued Musque Noble, they reused that idea of, the, of that fragrance in many, many ways. I think Rosa Mira is kind of reminiscent of Musque Noble. I think this new Santa Royale is kind of reminiscent of Musque Noble. And their X-ray which is uh, Rosa Cantifolia, is also reminiscent of Musque Noble. So, uh, funny that. However, Musque Noble was always quite similar to Santa Royale. You know, it was like they were inverted scents. A lot more rose in Musque Noble, a lot less musk in, in Santa Royale. So, you know, I, I think it's the same. Okay, let's bring out the, the older one. Let's bring out the older one and see. Uh, 
it saddens me that they kind of changed it so drastically but I do like the new one however I'm speaking as somebody who already owns a bottle of the 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 old one so I don't care that much I already have it hmm yeah I can tell you that the older one is a lot creamier I should write on the blotters so that I don't mix them up because it happens it happens that you mix your blotters up huh I've never all the elements from the new Santa Royale are here in the old one but all the elements from the old one are not in the new one, if that makes sense. I've never been able to detect that sharp oud note in Santa Royale before. As crazy as that sounds, it's here, right? So just because it's sharper in the newer one, I can now detect a fainter one in the older. I don't, I don't know if that's important. But I was never able to, to detect that before. So it's interesting to me. The rest, I think, I think it's pretty much the same scent. I don't know what was wrong with my nose earlier. Maybe it's just because my, my, my mental image of Santa Royale was different. Now do keep in mind, I'm, I'm smelling them on blotters. And usually, you know, all of the time, I'm wearing this. When, when you wear this, it's kind of a different scent. I don't know what to say. On, on, this, on these scent strips, they kind of feel the same scent. This, the new one maybe feels a bit... I, I don't want to say weaker. Because I don't think it's weaker. And maybe I'm just... I need to get a lot closer to this one to smell it. Well, this one is just... Yeah, the older one is a bit more powerful. But apart from that, I think it's the same scent. The new one is a bit more incense -y. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sharper. It's more, it's more resinous. It's more piney. It's more angular, right? The, the, the older one is just creamier and softer and smoother. Let's look on the notes for the new Santa Royale and they only cite rose, sandalwood, oud, leather and jasmine. Leather? Well, pardon me, but I don't detect it. Huh! You know, I don't detect the leather. <laughs> My God, it's just my brain is so weird today. I don't detect the leather, but I do detect something very similar to Quirantons from the same collection, which is, you know, a Quir, a leather scent. Ugh, so weird. Yeah, a lot more elements in the older one. And Jasmine, and that's it for the new one. The older one is just, you know, they cite a lot more jasmine, neroli, rose, cinnamon, peach, oud, which as far as I remember, there was no oud in either of um, these uh, fragrances. Sandalwood, leather, huh, amber and musk. I don't remember if there was any leather in Santa Royale. I've never particularly regarded this as a leathery scent. Probably because the leather is so prominently associated with uh, Quirantons from the same collection. And let me tell you, all of the scents from uh, this collection are kind of, you know, intermingled in terms of ideas and notes and scent profiles. So, you know, a lot of rose is being used, a lot of oud accords. So you can't really tell a lot of dirty musks. Yeah, the new one just feels weaker. 
But apart from that, I think it's the same scent. There are differences, but they're just like the differences between uh, the old bottles of Encens Mythique and the new bottles which are non-existent because they discontinued that. Uh, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's still sad. I mean, if you ask me, I preferred my Santa Royale Untouched. I do like this addition of this sharpness just because it's a different enough scent that I, I think I could justify a new purchase, a new bottle. But apart from that, I, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel. So if you've smelled the new Santa Royale, do let me know what you think. My opinion is a non-opinion, actually. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I think it's more or less the same scent. It's definitely, there's been changes for sure. And the new one feels a bit weaker and the older one and the older one feels you know it just feels smoother nicer more expensive i don't know i still like the new one Ugh. anyway so if you've got any other questions do let me know in the comments and until next time remember fragrance creates memories and may yours be happy